it's me Max Rainbow and I'm back for another video. So today I'm going to be reacting to Sweden's official entry for Eurovision 2019. I'm super duper excited because Sweden always sends amazing quality music. I am a little bit nervous because the last time I did a video about Sweden I got two strikes on my channel and I almost got my channel taken down. So I'm a little bit nervous. For that reason my Melody Festival and videos will come out you know, sometime soon, but I'm not sure if it will be a reaction because I'm just like, I'm scared. I'm nervous that my channel is just going to get taken down. So like these 90 days that my channel is kind of on like two strikes and the third one I'm out, I just got to be careful. So with that being said, let's get right into reacting to Sweden's song. So the name of Sweden's song is called Too Late for Love by John Lundvik. I've been so good. He's got a beautiful voice. And he's super handsome. It's not too late, John. I love that. It's kind of like creates this spotlight effect on him, coming down on him, this light. I mean, Sweden always has cool staging. Or good staging, at least. Oh, that's a great angle. I like this. It's building nicely. I mean, of course, the production sounds great. Okay. And I like that it's fun. Ooh. Okay, we got the choir in here. He does very kind of like gospel, that kind of music, so... Oh, okay. We slow it down. Okay, where are we building, girl? I definitely much prefer this entry from him than his entry from Melody Festival in last year. This one's a lot more like upbeat and it just feels way more modern and radio friendly. It's kind of that gospel sound, but you know, you'd hear this on the radio, not just in church, you know? And he's got a big smile on his face. He looks good. I like the clean, sleek, just black clothing. Oh, okay. There's the choir. Yes. I've admittedly heard this a few times. I hope he keeps those same women, because this is great. They sound amazing, too. It's very hard to do the whole, like, choir thing because of the, or, like, gospel choir sort of thing, because you can only have six people on stage. But, I mean, they sound powerful. Yes! This is just like a good, like this just makes a, me smile and it's fun. It's got me dancing. This, admittedly, this song has been stuck in my head all day. I've been listening to it over and over again. Like it's so, it's so fun. It's so good and it's, it's catchy and it's got that beat that makes you want to dance and like at least like go back and forth and sway, you know? Oh, he looks so happy all. All right, so I gotta say, I really, really love Sweden's entry this year. Fuck it, like, I don't care because you know what? Everybody's always like, Sweden is so, like, overrated. But you know what? I really, really enjoy this. I think that they're sending something different. This was in my top two of who I wanted to win. I just, I wanted, I personally, my winner was Jan Henrik. But honestly, I think that this was my favorite song. I wanted Jan Henrik to win because I wanted that different representation. But you know what? He sends representation in a different way. He sends a really good, different kind of song as kind of that choir, gospel choir -y. like, oh yes, I love that kind of music because it gets you up, it gets you singing, it gets you dancing, like, yes! And those background singers were great. And when I was saying representation, you guys probably know, I've talked about it a couple of times before on here, like pretty much any time, um, there's a person of color in Eurovision. I love seeing people of color in Eurovision because it really is just this representation that we need. Often Eurovision, because it is European, it's mainly white people. There's just something awesome about seeing a black man up there being amazing, 
fucking singing with like all black background singers, just having a fucking good time and just being amazing. Like that is what I love to see. And you know what? The reason that representation is very important because you know, in anything, like there will be little kids sitting at home or, and not even just younger kids, you know, everybody sitting at home watching. And when they can look at the screen and they can see somebody that looks like them and is doing amazing and being successful, then they get to know that, yes, I can do this too, because I see somebody just like me doing it as well. I talked about that with Bilal, where I'm like, seeing somebody like that tells me that, yes, you can succeed. I'm so, I'm very, very excited to see John Limovic in Eurovision this year, because I really, really like the song, and I kind of hated his song last year. So, I must say, the glow up is real. The only thing next year, Sweden, representation, I better see a woman. That's all I gotta say. So let me know in the comments down below what you think of Sweden's song for Eurovision 2019. Don't forget to follow me on my Instagram and my Twitter so you don't miss out on any of my posts, any polls, any, you know, anything that I do on there. Also, if you like this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel as well so you don't miss out on any other video that I do. And yeah, guys, my name is Max Rainbow. I will see you all later. Goodbye. Mwah.